Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a video for you on bento box or bento style lunches, snacks, and travel foods for the keto lifestyle or really for anybody who is wanting to travel and eat healthier than takeout and fast food, mostly for car trips. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing or have done or will do when I go on vacation. We're taking a car trip. So I will bring along food and drink that I can have with my keto diet. However, like I said, packing your own stuff is cost effective. You're not eating a bunch of junk and you know exactly what you can get and where. Now trust me, there'll be plenty of stops for coffee, drinks, bathroom, um, but I just like to have things that I can eat and make it easier on my family so we're not having to go to 10 different grocery stores when we get there, which we will go to the grocery store, but I don't need to, um, what don't I need to do? Oh, eat things I shouldn't. All right, let's show you what we got. We're gonna start with containers. All right, for containers and accessory type things, uh, there's several options. There's a million options. Um, what I like are reusable containers for many reasons, but you know, it's less waste. But maybe that's not always convenient. So I also have zip top bags. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree. And these are great for nuts and portion control because they have the measurements on the bag. I know they sell them at other places. I just happen to get mine there. Nice quality bag. These are zip bags from Ikea. They're considered a reusable bag. They're thicker and they are washable. And they're really nice. And I love long-term storage in these. So I have these. Then I have some like cupcake cups. You can have like plastic cups with lids. These little skewers would be fun to do like meat and cheese skewers for lunch. Any type of container with a lid. Um, for my purposes, I'm using these types of containers which are like a bento. So they're separated um, to keep things from getting all touched together. But then I also have something like this which is really for sandwiches, but I use these for all kinds of things as well. And this is Tupperware. And these are all Tupperware. These are my Wonder Woman. Now, at Target this year, they have a true bento box. These are bento, and they come with a, a band that holds them together. Where these lids go on tight, this is just sitting on top of each other, and then this piece of elastic band holds it together and this is a Japanese style bento so we're going to use both of these because I need lunch for tomorrow and then I need car snacks this will be the car one this will be lunch for tomorrow what I like about this it comes with silverware they also sell which is great for the environment bamboo silverware this was a set I think it was three dollars it has a straw chopsticks it even comes with a bristle brush for the straw, a knife, a fork, and a spoon. So I have that. I don't need that because I have the plastic that comes with it. Um, but I love that this is also plastic lined, so or some type of plastic, so it can be cleaned out. And you carry your, your uh, silverware with you when you pack your lunch. That is super fun. But we're not going to do that for this trip. But this does come with a fork and a spoon if I need it. And this could be for any type of lunch. I'm happy to be packing like finger food, so I won't need that. And then this top lid comes off. And in here is a container and you can, and it has a divider, which I love. And it can slide back and forth and make any size compartment. And that goes on the top. And then on the bottom, this one's a little on here tighter. Let me get that off. Is just an open container. Sandwich, salads, whatever. So what I'm going to do, let's get these lids off of these containers. And I'm going to show you some different foods. Now, I'm not going to utilize skewers, although I could totally take this to the beach and make like um, meat and cheese skewers, but we're not going to, I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to use a portion bags, maybe zip bags, and these containers. So, the first thing I'm going to do, and this is all refrigerator food, is, I 
have my food behind us. Two hard boiled eggs are gonna go in here. Right, because I love hard boiled eggs and they're a nice source of protein for me. And they're portable, easy to eat with my hands. So I have that in this container here. Um, some other ideas of food, which I'm not going to open, but I am taking. This is guacamole that I got at Aldi, and it came in two packages. And I froze this, but it's thawed now. So I'm taking that. That's a great source of fat. I'm packing some egg thins. These are good for me for sandwiches, but you could do flats or whatever. I could make a sandwich and put it in here. That's not what I'm doing, but I could totally do that. To go with those wraps... I'm packing for the condo. This is a one pound steak that's been pre-sliced. I got this at Costco. It's delicious and super portable and easy. Just grab a piece of meat. I do like protein. And then I grabbed a bag of this chicken that's already cooked as well. This stuff here is gonna be great lunches for me. All I need is some cheese, which I have over there, and I can make a wrap. And it's good healthy fats for my diet. Any diet, really, but this is the foods that I choose to eat, but you can choose whatever you like, right? Because that's how we roll around here. Another thing, and I believe this is an Ohio thing, but they may have left Ohio. It's Troyer's Trail Bologna. I love this. I'm going to say it is, it's like a sausage, but it's more like a bologna. It, it tastes like bologna. It's, um... Ingredients are beef, water, salt, sodium, spices, sugar, more sodium. There's a lot of sodium in this, apparently. Let me see. 450 milligrams per serving. A serving is two ounces. Um, so I am taking this, but for the trip, and I've been eating this week, I cut some up. And just cut up in rounds. Perfect. I don't know what to do here. We'll put it over here. Perfect, just meat and cheese, right? Because it's delicious. So I'm just putting some lunches together. There we go. And I'll eat one. And then I'll wash and put that away. Now, the other thing I got while I was at the Amish store was some farmer's cheese. Oh, so good. It's really a soft cheese. I think it's equated to like a butter cheese. Um, very flavorful. It's made, this was made in Amish country up by where I live. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of it up and then I will show you also some other things that I have to go. So I think two slices of cheese is sufficient for a lunch. And this for work is a breakfast lunch. I'll eat a little bit for breakfast and I'll have the rest for lunch. And then this one for the car, same thing. I'll nibble on it and then put it away and then maybe nibble on it a little more later. Um, so I think that is good. Now, I'm not traveling with the cheese in this container. I will put it in a zip bag because I'm gonna put this stuff in a cooler and these containers can leak. And I don't want to ruin my delicious Amish cheese by taking on water and that's the one thing that the benefit of zip top bags are and these are really good ones like I said so I'll wash this out now I also have some radishes I love radish so I'm just gonna throw a little bit of radish in with my cheese why not I pre-cut it and I also soak it in a little bit of water and it takes that really extra sharp bite out of it. So it's not overly sharp. Um, I feel like this is fine if it gets water on board. So I'll take that with me. And I think I'm just going to call it for lunch tomorrow. That's gonna be it for my lunch. And this will go in a cool uh, lunch bag for my um car ride which is gonna be super long I do want to put some nuts in here and I might put some peanut butter uh, the Dollar Tree sells little plastic cups with lids 
and I may just grab one of those and throw some peanut butter in it, or I may have one. I think I have a container, actually, just to put a little bit of peanut butter in. Peanut butter is a really good source of, um, quick source of fat for me, as well as um, fills me up. And then the rest of this will go for us all to eat. I love nuts. But for, I think for this, we're going to be good for right now. My eggs. Is that the eggs? Yeah. They'll flatten. And then you just put the lid on it. There we go. And this will, the eggs will squish down. And that's my car ride and that's my lunch for tomorrow. I love these Tupperwares. Now some other items that I have, oh, I have some strawberries that I already washed and cut up. Those will go in the cooler for the car ride and for down there. Then I'm not sure exactly what all is gonna end up in the cooler tomorrow, but I do have more hard boiled eggs. I know they will go. I do have some kosher dills, but I can buy some when we get there. Same thing with bacon bits. Um, I do like this ranch but i can get ranch anywhere when we hit the grocery store but i did purchase for the trip some um already cubed cheese which i think will be great to have in our condo and for me to pack my lunches and stuff so i got uh what is this gouda mild cheddar and cold jack so anything like this that is pre individually packaged is going to be great to travel with and what I'll do when I get home tomorrow from work before I head out is I will go in my fridge, grab my container, decide what I'm packing, what needs to go, what doesn't, put it in a cooler, and then when we get to the hotel, or the condo, I can just put it in the fridge. Now, this chicken was a two-pack. It's 32 ounces, so that's a lot of servings, but I, can, I will definitely share with whoever would like some, maybe for a chicken salad. I do have mayonnaise and I have um, mustard, so I can make egg salad, chicken salad, whatever. We'll eat it. If I don't eat it, it'll come home with me. Maybe it won't even make it in the car because they also have this big thing of beef and treble in it. So I may not even take the chicken. That may just stay here, but I just wanted to give you some ideas of some um, easy to pack, easy to travel with snacks and food ideas if you're trying to be on a budget and or eat the types of food you need to eat for your specific health. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you have a good one and I will talk to you later.